So you go from Philadelphia, where fans maybe care too much, to Florida, where, to put it gently, maybe, <laughs> maybe they don't care enough. Um, contrast the challenge. What, what, what's the challenge? Yeah, I, I think uh, the, the thing that you have to do in a non-traditional market, well, one, you got to win, right? I mean, that's very yeah. important, but that's too simple and, and, and that doesn't help. Uh, but I think the game, like if, if you can get people to come in and, and watch this, this game live, it's incredible. Uh, we had a, uh, the marketing director that, that I brought in had a great campaign. And at first I wasn't too keen on it, but he hit it right on the head. In the Latin market, the similarity be, uh, between soccer and hockey, it, it's very, very similar sports, a lot of regrouping and, and the way the game is played. And we did a lot of educating soccer to hockey, and it actually worked. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were able to get a lot of the Latin population. And there's, there's a lot of people that have migrated from Canada and Massachusetts right. and New York and all that down there too. But um, I think it's the, the big advantage we have is if you can get somebody to sample it, they're just amazed at, at what the players can do on the blades. It's a tough market, though. I mean, South Florida is a tough market for everybody. Right? The Dolphins don't sell out. Yeah. You know, the Heat, even in their, you know, when they had the big three, didn't necessarily sell out every game. You know, the Marlins have had their issues. Like it's a, it's a transient place. Like yeah. it's a. I, I think it is. Although the, the I, I'm very bullish on, on Florida in general. I mean, look, I mean, Tampa's had tremendous success now. Sure. And fantastic owner in. Uh, Jeff Finnick, he's just done a tremendous job becoming part of the community. And I think that's the first thing you have to do. I don't care where you live, is become part of the community. So we have to become part of the community. And then if, if you look where, where the arena is located in Sunrise, um, Wayne Heisinger built, it's a beautiful building. Yep. Uh, but the area, he was a little ahead of his time. It was, you know, out, out by the uh, Everglades. And it wasn't so, 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 but basically west of their building yeah. for 150 miles yeah. is Swamp. It's Alligator Alley. So the next town is Fort Myers, which is on the Gulf Coast. Yeah. So that's so so it's 16 miles east to the uh, ocean, but that area is now grown tremendously, and they built this Sawgrass Expressway to the north, and that's where all the new building is being built, and all the new family areas and all that. So uh, I, I listen. There's five and a half million people in the marketplace uh, and growing to the north which is good for the, for the situation in Florida. So I, I, think, um, I, think we can, I, think, I think it can really make it there, and as it has in Tampa. Mm -hmm.